Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and before we start today's episode, I just want to take a minute to tell you about the Amino app for iOS and Android devices. It's an app that allows users to join communities that they're passionate about. Simply head to the app store of your choosing, I'm using the Apple Store, and search for Amino. Open the app and use the Explore tab. Type in Terraria and join the awesome Terrarian community. Once in, you'll be able to do awesome things like join in real-time public chats to talk to other Terraria fanatics and even post your own blogs for your fellow gamers to follow. Some of my favorite features of the Amino app are news feeds which allow you to pick and choose which communities to get notifications about. No matter what you're into, there's surely a community of like-minded people to hang out with. And hey, if you can't find what you're looking for, then create your own community to express and discuss your favorite games, animes, and even YouTubers. There are over a thousand individual communities for you to pick and choose from. Two of my favorites are the Pokemon Go and One Piece communities. Check out the Amino app and join the Terrarian community. Follow me and find my blog post about Terraria creepypastas. I'll shout out the first one to type in banana on the blog post. Welcome back to the episode. Let's go ahead and do some stuff today. I'm planning on finding a couple of bosses and really, really work on our overworld. So let's get it out of the way right now. Let's go fight our boss. So we tried fighting him in the morning before and it pops up. Now it's time to summon him at night to see if he's summonable. If not, then we'll of course do some other stuff till morning. So Mega Tree, you're going back down, bro. Here we go. Boom! Small Mega Tree. Small Mega Tree. This might be a little more easier to dodge. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this. Hey, let's go. Oh, I can't knock him back. That's not good. All right, let's do this. All right. So a lot of everyone was saying that he has pretty much the same pattern as the uh, Eye of Cthulhu. Which makes a lot of sense. Uh, here we go. I should probably make like a a, a, a double layer of this. If I really, yeah, I really should. So we're a lot faster and we have a better weapon last since last time we fought Mega Tree. Stop for some amazing revenge, Arino. Oh god. Oh no. All right, guys, I got this. We have like we have a bunch of potions. We're good. Some people were trying to give me tips, like Mobby, why don't you try using your bombs or something? I kind of want to do primarily fighting with only bone arrows. So I, you know, as much as I appreciate it, uh, this is a challenge type of thing where pretty much, you know, I'm playing with mods and all that, but I still want to just use uh, bone arrow. So that's why we're not using the Carol anymore. Which, you know, on the sprite itself, it actually looked. Oh, nice. We're dodging like crazy. It actually did look like I, I, I got. The, oh no 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 no! Move 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 move! Are you shitting me? All right. Anyway. Oh my God! Stop it. Yep. He has the expert. He even has like the expert um, thing. I don't know if this is brilliance or lazy. You know, to to, to make a boss like this. But we'll just see what he drops. But I would say he's a lot more difficult than the Eye of Cthulhu. Just because. We got him, though. We killed the small Mega Tree. Maybe because it was a small one, it was easier. Overkill, huh? Let's see what he drops. All right. Here we go. We got something called a Quick Tree Staff. Summons a Ghostly Tree. Let's see what it looks like. So it's just these things. Oh, the things he had. Oh, that's cool. Fortunately, we're not going to be using these. So I'll probably sell it. And... Force energy. Huh. Now, before we check out what this does, let's find him again. Col oh! <laughs> what are the odds? What are the freaking odds that it would be a small one and then a colossal one where I have to bat? Dude, like, are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Okay. Alright, buddy. I'm actually not even sure, like, how his health factors in if it's more or less. In the colossal or even the regular tree but i'm glad that we can at least have the speed to uh get away from him yeah i i, th I need to make like a layered arena all right oh my god this is freaking funny now we get a better look at his sprite which is awesome yeah look at that he's getting wrecked all right he's, I, i'm assuming he's gonna start doing that the, the, the crazy stuff in a second and by crazy stuff, I mean, yep, look at that. He went into, like, a, some sort of uh, specter-ish mode. He's not really doing much. Why? Okay, now he's being extremely passive. All right. That's fine. Okay. Well, let's see if we dropped anything new. I might want to fight him again because, you know, it's pretty good money. All right. Here we go. Boom. Nothing new. We got uh, more tree staff. This is a mythical one. And we got more force energy. Okay. So, it all depends on what the force energy is going to give me. If it's something I would obviously want to craft into, we got to find more. So, let's see. 
All right, bro. You should stay indoors and nice. Very dangerous. Now, thanks, man. All right, here we go. Um, so we know the boss energy will make like, hold on, a leeching bow, which sounds great. I need 10 undead energy. I don't know how many I have now, but I would love to craft that. And that seems to be like the only thing I would want to make out of it. So yeah. Okay, force energy. Here we go. Boom. Three items. Force blast is a magical attack. The living tree sword and the wood chipper shoots tiny pieces of wood now this requires an anvil now we're gonna go ahead and you know craft it just to see what it does but we're not gonna be using it because it's a gun and I want to use just bow and arrow that's what I want to do just bow and arrow so we need an anvil here we go the wood chipper I wonder if it actually uses wood as your ammo it does not use whoa this looks cool so let's just you know we're not gonna make it our primary but we can test it out so just show you guys what's up oh my god there's some lag here look at that Whoa! This is a pretty funny weapon. Why is it lagging? Look. Yeah, look. It's like really slowed down. Is it because I'm using the wood chipper? It's an interesting weapon. Obviously, it would benefit you a lot if you were if you had more damage than this. But yeah, that's that's an interesting weapon. Oh, the lag's gone. I think it's because I was using the wood chipper thing. So cool. There's no reason to fight the mega tree anymore. <laughs> Okay, um, I need to work on the arena a little more, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, let's go sell the stuff. We're not gonna use it. We're not using these anymore. Uh, sell my, get rid of my monies, dude. We have seventy-one thingy majiggies. Um, oh look, I almost have. No, I need undead energy, not the blood. Undead energy. Come here, do you drop the undead energy? You're pretty much undead. Come here, come here. Bra, bra, come here. Nope. Oh, he ran away. All right then. Let me sell this stuff, and then I'll, t I'll let you guys know. God dang it, the freaking genie scared me. I don't know why I thought it was like an enemy. Alright, sell... There's no value. That's eight. Look at that, no value for these. The wood chipper itself. Ba -ba -ba -da. Okay. So, pretty much, there... Um, well, I have a gravitational potion, so I want to be searching for some sky islands. We're going to be doing that right now. And then, um, I have a bunch of pumpkin seeds that I want to just turn into pumpkins. So we have so much better type of, you know, potions to use and buffs. Because right now, I'm not really using a buff. So it would be nice to get some pumpkins. Who knows? You know, I'm, you know, pumpkins might turn into something later on. And we need them for the pumpkin moon event, you know, later in the late game. So before we use the pumpkin thingy, let's go ahead and try to purify bunch of this am i really getting like wrecked get away from me get 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 out of here you didn't drop your lens all right let's go oh my god this is terrible look look how slow this is it's okay this is before the contaminator anyway but yeah we got to get rid of this it's this too close to our home let's just get rid of like this for now that's why i bought a bunch let's get rid of this look i like how that turned into a day bloom all right let's just get rid of it get away from here it, it'll grow back later but i just gotta push it away from the house all right and I think you can turn this into some sort of uh, some sort of material. It's some sort of uh, spell book that you use to. Uh, oh my God! What the heck is this? Bone face? Just bone face? Yeah, it turns into a uh, some kind of material that you use for. Uh, what was it? What was it now? Yeah, it's like an in, an infinite purification powder that uses mana. So I think I might craft that later on. Bone face. Is that a new enemy? I don't think I've seen him before. Anyway. Oh, get away from you stealthy demon butt face. Alright, let's go. Later, suckers. Alright, here we go. Let's go left. We're searching for some sky islands, guys. Some sky islands. Okay. Oh, I found one. Found one already. Well, let's go ahead and quickly grab the item on it and then leave. Oh, this is, like, literally in the sky. That's pretty funny. No, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean, the space. All right, go, go, go. All right, grab it all. We don't got time for this. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Wow. Oh, a harpy. Oh, yeah, we haven't found any harpies yet. Well, we, got, we, don't, we don't got time for that. That's really close to, like, the actual s space in the edge of the whole area. That's a little too close. All right, so we're going to be doing this. I don't know how close and how far I want. So because it's a normal size world into the orbits 
Um, normal size world, we should be able to reach the end. At least I hope so. Two minutes? Maybe? If we don't, I mean, I guess that's assuming we don't find another sky eye, then we probably might be able to get all the way to the end. What is this here? Oh, critically frustrated. You didn't critically strike. Oh, this means like my next shot is going to be a half crit, if you remember. So we're going to hit for 150 damage instead of the, you know, direct 200% that we would usually do. Which is fine, you know, might as well. It's still a buff, even though it sounds terrible. Like, oh, you're doing a, a uh, you know, a terrible, sh uh, crappier version than the crit, than the regular 200 crit. It's still better than the no crit. So there you go. Dude, so I'm glad Megatree is out of the picture. We don't have to deal with him anymore. Um, let's focus on even more bosses. So I have them all written down. We'll work towards them, but it's the, you know it's about time I search for more and more things in the world itself, um, like the Sky Island. I want to go to the Hellstone. I want to defeat every single boss that I can get my hands on before hard mode. So even though there's a Sky Island, so even though we will be like reaching. Uh, the hell area, hell area. I'm, I'm not gonna fight the uh, boss yet. No, I don't want to go into hard mode yet. That's what I'm just saying. Whoa, look at all those ore! What? What? Give me the, give me, give me, give me. Oh, baby. This is a, this is starlight ore. No, oh, I'm running out of, uh, well, we're not gonna reach the end. It's fine. Starlight ore. Wait. Was this on the other island and I just didn't see it? Oh, it probably was, huh? Okay, anyway, this is good. We can farm some harpies. We can farm some clouds. And this is good. This is good. Okay. Get away from me. Woo, we got some avian cartilage. Which, uh, I forgot what it turns into, but we'll obviously talk to the guide and find out. Yeah, let's get the starlight ore. This looks cool. Where's my other bomb set? I really like sticky bombs. They're, they're like really nice. They're, they're good for early game mining. It, it saves a little bit of time. And come on, it's a giant explosion. Who doesn't love giant explosions, right? All right. You want some? Yeah, Harpy? Don, the knockback is like usually as an archer in games. You want knockback, right? Yeah, using a bone arrow, you want knockback. But whew, not working too well here. It's going a little too far. Two, three, four. Oh, can't wait to see this. Nice. Oh, this whole place got destroyed. All right. And yeah, inventory's really full. It's okay. Just give me the starlight stuff. Just give me the starlight stuff. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you've come to my island, huh? You've come to my island trying to take me on? She's like, no. Uh, my family grew up here. This is our summer home and you destroyed it. You're damn right I destroyed it. All right. Oh, give me the goods. All right, everyone here, one here, and one there. That should be it. Boom, baby. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Guy in Reno. Oh, I gotta destroy something here. Sun play, I don't, these are materials, but I don't think they're gonna turn into anything useful. Can I help you, Harpy Lady? Mrs. Uh, Harpy Lady Reno. God, there's a bunch of them, actually. All right, let's go ahead and kill them before we head back. Doo, doo, doo. No, get out of here. You want it? All right, you're gonna, you're gonna get it. Feather and more avian cartilages, okay. Ooh, I can't wait to get like arrows that actually do something. Like, like this is the first arrow I have that has a any sort of specification, any sort of change on it, which is pretty much it pierces. You know, there's bouncy ones, and hopefully there's homing ones. Probably not though. I know the homing are the bullet ones. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be exciting. Um, guide, guide, tell me what I can make with these awesome, awesome items. Starting off with the Star Fury. Making some magical and the Galactica Blade. Maybe another playthrough. Maybe another playthrough. So these are going to be sold. Angel Statue, Recall Potion. Not that I want. Let's just sell it. Uh, shurikens. And the Shuriken Pouch. A throwing class next, guys. You guys want a throwing class next? And the Shurikens. That sounds actually pretty cool. Uh, oh, dude. This Ninja Soul. So this is the ultimate ninja stuff if you remember in season two of the epic mod pack i made the ultimate mage item which was the manateer so this is the equivalent i believe damn that's amazing oh dude i can't, oh, I can't wait to do a throwing class later on but no 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 not this one 
All right, cloud wall turns into just a cloud. All right. Do I have just cloud though? Just cloud. Cloud turns into. Um, oh, perfect! I can turn into these items now. Remember, you might be thinking, "Oh, this is a pop." You, you, you can make this stuff later. Like you might as well. So I can make this now. Actually, cloud in the bottle. All I need is some diamond dust, and I don't. I haven't come across diamond dust, so I'm just gonna guess. You crush diamonds, so. Uh, if I have any diamond, I'll try to activate it. And a shiny red balloon. So, there we go. We can make all this stuff. An arrow spec breastplate. Ooh, this is, um, look at that. 40 mana, max damage, 20% all damage types, 15 increased movement speed. This is an area light bar. Whew, I don't know how to make that. All right, let's keep going. Cloud in a bottle uses the starlight bar. Cloud in the bottle. This is also cloud in the bottle. Huh, this two stuff here sandstorm blizzard in a bottle lightning boots which you of course use the uh, specter boots we don't even have the hermes boots yet hmm and then more clown the bottle oh it's actually easier this requires a tinkers workshop yeah i have a couple of mods as you can tell that give me different recipes for stuff so hey if i can make it now might as well do it so i'll make this one off screen and i'll turn this into more clowns um, what else did we have here? The glass wall. Actually, you know, glass is just... Oh, look at that multicolored stuff. I'll turn this back into glass. Hold on to this. And then we have the sun plate blocks, which it turns into just inventory things, huh? Uh, it's a decorative things, I believe. Oh, no. Look, there's even 95% pickaxe power. What? 95? And a gale of force, which is 19 damage. It's weaker than this, but I'll craft it anyway. So, aerolite bars. I don't know how to craft that. I really do not know how to craft aerolite bars. I don't think I've seen it yet. But, cool. I can't believe this is 95%. I want to make this. This looks really cool. Hmm. Maybe with a sky mill. Probably. But I don't have the materials to make the other thing. I'll hold on to it. Because we might figure it out. Feathers turn into... Oh, and there's the Hermes boots for you. Alright, so sweet. You need a Tinker's Workshop, though. So we still need to find the Goblin. Like, there's no getting around it. There is a... Oh, God, look at all this stuff. Alright, so all this requires... Ooh, the Harpy Ring. Increased move speed and flight time. So we can become, like, a pit or something. Like, you know, some smash. What the hell is Aerolite? Come on. Skyline wings. Dude, we can make this quick with Aerolite? Oh, my God. Skyline wings. What else? Trade wing. Clown the bottle. Starlight stuff. This is magic and melee damage. That's like a hybrid. That's cool. Chakram. Hermes boots. Of course. The sh and all this one. Sun plate. Sun plate with the gold brick. Wow, you need that to do that. The feather foe. 24 damage. There's so much stuff I want to craft. I'll most likely um, go off screen and make everything I want. And then, you know, prepare what I want to make next. And so, yeah, Harpy Mask. Oh, and the last one is Avon Cartilage. Show you all this stuff. Ooh, look at all these cool things. Look at this, the flight stuff. Movement speed, um, no fall damage, jump height. This doesn't pertain to any particular damage, but cool. Oh, I'm like excited to do all this stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to fix everything up and I will uh, sort it all out. So I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Upload a lot of daily videos. Remember, live stream twitch.tv slash mobby versus games pretty much every single day. So drop by and say hi. Would love to see you there. I'm so glad you know more people are starting to show up more and more and remember everything on there for the most part it's all twitch exclusive so games i will be playing there won't be showing up on youtube so thanks for being here make sure to go check out that amino app i want to see you guys on there remember first one to shout out banana on the post that i put on the amino app we'll get a shout out next episode so thanks for being here and um question of the day question of the day oh are you guys interested in the amino app at all that's the question. So let me know. Are oh, are you interested? And if you are, should we make a Mobby versus Games community on there? So, yes, on the Amino app. Which community are you most interested in? Will you craft your own? Just let me know your thoughts, and I'll put your answers in the next one as well. Shout out the person who says banana on my particular post on the app. So thanks for being here, and I'll see you guys next time.